The kitchen has gotten real filthy, like a level of filthy that has me actually concerned that mice or rats are gonna start multiplying in my house, so we are deep cleaning the kitchen today. Cause the only animals allowed in this house are my human family, who can still wreak a lot of havoc in my house. They broke this cabinet right here, which I will also be fixing after the deep cleaning. Then once the kitchen is clean, I'm going to do some maintenance decluttering as there are plenty of items shoved in cabinets and drawers that have overstayed their welcome and can find a new home in either the trash or hopefully at a good will nearby. This video is also sponsored by Ruggable, but more on that later. Let's get to cleaning. First thing we gotta do is I am going to clean our washing machine before I start doing any laundry today because it's starting to make, ugh, my husband has some clothes sitting in there right now, but it's starting to stink. So I'm going to use this afresh to wash it out. Now let's tackle this kitchen. As always, I am cleaning from top to bottom, so I'm clearing off the countertops first, putting everything away, putting trash in the trash bin where it should have gone to begin with, and then I'm going to wipe down all of the counters. I'm wiping down the counters today with one of these ultimate cloths that were sent to me for free. Overall, they worked as advertised. Didn't have to use any cleaner and they polished up my granite nicely. I like that they are eco-friendly. Am I gonna go toss all my microfiber cloths, then add these to my Christmas list? No, I. this is my first time using them and so far so good, but we will see how they work out long-term. And speaking of Christmas lists, what is on your Christmas list this year or holiday list, whatever you celebrate? Are you filling in random essentials or do you have some splurge items that you've been waiting on and dropping hints to friends and family about? I have felt a little different this year making my list, probably because this is the first ever year of my life that I have actively been trying to declutter. I definitely am being more thoughtful on what I'm putting on my list this year because I wanna make sure anything I get, I get good use out of it. I'm also asking just for basic help, like tasks for my husband to do. If I had family around to help, I would ask them to babysit as a gift, but since I don't, instead I'm just asking them for spa treatments at my local spa so I can de-stress that way, but what are you asking for this year? Maybe it'll spark some new ideas for what I still need to get others or what I should be asking for myself. Cleaning the outside of this convection oven, but more than the outside, the inside of this thing desperately needs to be cleaned. We use this every single day before we use our regular oven because not only does it heat up way faster, but overall it just uses up less energy. I'm taking my Scrub Daddy Power Paste and my Scrub Mommy Sponge right now, and I'm getting all the caked on grease off of the glass window. Next, I tried my darndest at getting all the cooked on grease off of this grease trap tray thing that hangs out at the very bottom of the convection oven. I used my power wash spray, regular soap. I tried scraping everything off with the little scraper tool that I use all over my house. And I mean, I made baby steps, but I really couldn't get most of the grease off. So I ultimately put the power wash all over the tray and let it sit so that I could try again later. While that marinates, I decided to start cleaning up the floors. I'm using my O Cedar Spin Mop to mop my floors today, and because I didn't get the spin mop that I really wanted from Target, I decided to just work with what I got. I decided to get this extra bucket to hold the clean water, and then when I spin out my mop, all the dirty water can go into the spin mop bucket, but I still have the clean water sitting pretty on top. I swept up the floor quick with my broom and then got to mopping. Overall, I really like this O Cedar Spin Mop. A lot of people have asked me if I like it more than my Bissell Spin Wave, and I actually think I do, especially now that I have the clean bucket of water on the side, and then I spin out the dirty water. I just feel like it's probably making my floors truly cleaner. Now, if I had real wood floors and not cheap fake wood floors, maybe the Spin Wave would be better because it could also be used as a polisher, but overall, I think the mop I am using here today is my preferred floor mop now, and bonus points is that it is cheaper. 
and I can use it on my baseboards, cabinets, and walls as well. If you watched my recent TikTok Cleaning Hacks 3 video, it has so many uses for such a good price. I'll have this one that I'm using and the one that I wish I'd gotten linked in the description box below along with everything else in this video. I put away my vabroom and pulled out my actual vacuum for the main parts of my kitchen that had large morsels of food on the ground. The vabroom is nice for smaller messes and sweep ups, but it can't suck up anything larger than maybe the size of your thumbnail. And with all the food that was on the floor, I could have made up an entire plate of food to fill my belly. So it would have clogged my poor little vabroom, so I had to get the vacuum. Next, we are going to clean up the breakfast nook, which many breakfasts and other meals have been spilled on the floor over here, but no worries, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Ruggable. I have talked about my machine washable kitchen rug from Ruggable in other videos that were not sponsored. It's truly just a product that I love. I can't believe I ever had non-machine washable rugs under this table, knowing what a mess my boys make. I, I don't know, there's no way we can not have this type of mess. We try to have have my boys sit nicely and eat nicely and they do pretty well for the most part their their coordination just isn't the best and so no matter what there's going to be lumps of food on the floor spilled messes on the floor and without a rug under our table our table would slip all over the floor and scratch it up so a ruggable rug that can easily be thrown in the washing machine and cleaned up is the only way we can survive in this house once the top of the rug is cleaned and dried, it's super easy to put back together. Ruggable rugs come in two pieces. They have a slip resistant rug pad on the bottom that has a Velcro-like top that the decorative top of the rug attaches to. You just roll the top piece onto the bottom and boom, we got a like new clean rug again that is beautiful and functional and doesn't smell because let me tell you, before we had a machine washable rug over here, it was pretty gross. There are so many styles to choose from. If you are in the market for a new rug or you're thinking of what to add to your Christmas list, I highly suggest a ruggable rug. For 10% off your order, click the link in the description box below and use code FUNMY10, that's F-U-N-M-A-I-1-0 for 10% off any of the styles and sizes on the whole site. Thanks to Ruggable for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to cleaning. We're gonna go back in time slightly now because I wanted to show the whole Ruggable process in one, but while my rug top was in the wash, I actually had to do a lot of deep cleaning in this area, so let me show you all the mess that was addressed. First, I took a butter knife and cloth and used it to clean every nook and cranny in this breakfast nook with all the food that you saw on the floor. Of course, that also means that there is food all over this breakfast nook. And using this knife and cloth hack really helps get every little bit out of every little crevice. I also ended up pulling out my magic eraser here to get all the hard stuck on food off of this bench. Any leftover little dots that you see on the bench, that is character that was painted onto the bench. They have little black marks that they put all over the bench, which actually is pretty nifty for how dirty this area gets. It kind of looks somewhat intentional because that's how the bench was built, but you know, I still need to clean up the actual disgusting mess that is all over this bench. Then I pulled the bench away from the wall so that I could vacuum and thoroughly mop up the floor here that had multiple spills on it. Floor. 
And with the bench being pulled out away from the wall, I noticed how much crusted on food was on the back of the bench as well. So I used my magic eraser to get all that cleaned up. And ignore that massive hole in the wall. I've asked my husband for Christmas to fix it. Basically, we took off all the little door stoppers in our house at one point because the kids just would not stop playing with them and they were so annoying. And lesson is those door stoppers are there for a reason because as soon as the door gets swung open and you don't have one, the handle will knock a giant hole in your wall. So my Christmas gift is for my husband to fix that. We have another one of those massive holes in the wall that is from our door that leads out to the garage from the same mistake of taking off the door stopper. So basically, I'm just making a huge honeydew list of things to fix around the house and I just want my husband to take care of it so I don't have to. Then I went back to the grease trap tray that had been soaking in down power wash for a long time and I was actually able to scrape off a lot of the grease after letting it soak. Was I able to get it 100% fully clean and new looking again? No, unfortunately not. But it's gonna be good enough. Most of the grease is gone. I tried using some of my power paste on it as well. It got a little bit more off, but ultimately in the end, I was just happy with it not being completely covered in grease. There was at least some progress made. Last thing to do in this kitchen before we get to the decluttering portion of this video is quickly fixing this cabinet that had broke. Okay, that was a lot of cleaning. I worked up a sweat, my arms are sore, my glutes are sore, everything is sore. The deep cleaning is very physical and I feel like I earned a, I earned this cookie. I went to crumble cookies. I need to also re-get my motivation up because we're about to declutter the kitchen to make sure it stays in perfect mint condition, at least as perfect as I can make my kitchen. And I just, I needed an excuse to get a cookie and I feel like I definitely earned this cookie <laughs> through all the cleaning we just did and for all the decluttering we're about to do. So I'm gonna eat this and then we'll get to decluttering. It's been over six months since I did the massive declutter of my kitchen where I cleared out an atrocious amount of stuff. It took me three videos, aka three days, to sort through it all, and I decluttered probably 80% of my kitchen then. I've worked hard to maintain it, but things are starting to get cluttered and messy again, so I want to do some maintenance decluttering and organizing of as many areas as I can before I gotta start making dinner and new messes for the fam. This is a mess. I'm going to see this doesn't go here. This doesn't go here. This doesn't go here. You can see where my husband put away stuff out of the dishwasher. <laughs> To help keep me organized as I work through this, I have a donate bag, a trash bag, and a laundry basket for items that need to be put away in other parts of the house. But honestly, most of it just needs to be put in the appropriate drawer or cabinet. I know this isn't the neatest way to organize it. I probably don't need two of these, but I'm gonna keep the two of them for now. These are over here is kind of stuff that I use to prep fruit and stuff for my kids. I have my little stem gem that de-stems strawberries so well. Two types of grape slicers that I've used. I can actually declutter this one because this is a grape quarterer and I don't need to quarter the grapes anymore for my kids. This is the only grape slicer I need that just slices them in half. These nifty little scissors just, it's, it makes cutting up food so easy. And it has the shield on it. I can have it at the table, cut up any food as needed, and then without having to necessarily put it away, I can put 
this shield back on so it's not like a dangerous little scissor at our kitchen table. And this was a new thing that I got that I actually really like, but it takes the pits out of cherries, which is really cool. My kids love cherries, but those pits can get really annoying. Even for me, if I wanna add cherries to a salad or something, this quickly depits the cherry. We have so many scissors. I don't know why we have all these twisty ties. We don't even use twisty ties. I love the knife block that we have in here. Rather than having it take up counter space and create visual clutter, it's nice having it all in a drawer like this. The only annoying thing is I wish they had something so that it could hold scissors. Instead, I just have to set all my scissors to the side. And I know it maybe seems excessive to have four pairs of scissors in here, but trust me, we use them. Anytime I use scissors, I end up throwing them in the dishwasher. I get these and these at Target. I will have them linked below because I think they are amazing and they're so environmentally friendly. Paper sandwich bags are so nifty for packing up lunches. And the nice thing about it, it has a sticker seal so that the sandwich stays nice and intact and together. It doesn't just like fall out all over the place. And then I have these Matter snack bags and sandwich bags. I'm probably not gonna buy the sandwich bags anymore because I like these paper ones so much, but these snack bags are great. They are 100% compostable snack bags. I really do like everything in there. Already open and it's hard as a rock, so we're gonna toss that. This is my knife sharpener, so we're definitely keeping that. I don't know what this rope is. I don't know why we have so many thermometers. One of these I'm just going to set in our upstairs bathroom so we don't have to run down here to grab one. This I feel like is good. And this belongs in another part of the house, so it's gonna go in there. Next we have this drawer, which I are also need to thoroughly clean out this drawer. I'm taking everything out of this drawer so that I can vacuum out and wipe down the inside of the drawer thoroughly. I didn't end up decluttering much out of this drawer. I want to keep all my utensils and I like having multiple measuring cups and spoons on hand for larger baking and cooking days. Who has time to wash out the same cup over and over for a recipe? Not me. This has become very much a catch-all random drawer of crap. This is the drawer that's closest to our outside. So I have all the sunscreens in here for my kids and myself. We have a bunch of really old toothbrushes that I don't know how long they've been sitting in here, but they really should probably go at this point. This toothpaste should go upstairs. This one I know no one liked. It made them gag, so. Pretty sure no one's gonna be using it. I should just get rid of it. There's some sticky stuff on the bottom here. I think it was spilled toothpaste or leaky toothpaste. Well, the only stuff I'm gonna keep in here, I'm gonna keep all the sunscreens in here still. This is the brush and mousse that I use to style my boys' hair in the morning. I'll leave that in here. Just any chapstick for them. Uh, I'm gonna leave this nail polish remover in here because I feel like I remove my nail polish all the time just when I'm randomly sitting around the kitchen watching the kids when I wear nail polish. Right now I'm wearing strips. Now to the random coupon and recipe drawer. This is expired. So I guess I'll throw away any expired coupons. Oh, some money. I'll take this. We actually have 11 of these pizza box coupons, so we only need one more to get to 12. Definitely need to save these. I have kind of just like scratch card recipes that I actually do reference a lot. I should organize them or write them down in a neater way. But for now, this is this is what I have for re recipes that I reference that I just wrote down quick because my mom gave them to me or something. A uh, bug killer, it hasn't killed any bugs yet. There's no chemicals or anything. It's chemical free bug killer. So I don't mind sticking it in a drawer. It's just a sticky trap for them and it has a blue light when you plug it in that attracts the bugs. I know I'm good. We need all this. Oh gosh. 
purely some of this can be decluttered because it was hidden underneath so much stuff. I haven't used these in a long time. I got these from Dollar Tree. I'll probably donate them. I'm probably gonna use this, but I can donate this one. I don't need two. This I can get rid of. I'm not, I've held onto this too long and it's expired now. I think I've decided if I'm going to have this as our designated bags to reuse area, it needs to just be the bags that we want to use for whatever else purposes. We can't have a whole bunch of other stuff hidden underneath here. Next area I decluttered was the tea and mug area above our coffee maker. Between my husband and I, we have tons of teas and drink mixes. Half of them I can't even reach without getting a step stool, so I adjusted the cabinets down as far as I could so I can actually access most of what's in here without fetching a stool. I have this clear tea bag holder that I refilled to reduce box clutter. Then I got rid of some of these sugary drinks that we don't drink anymore. There's still a lot, but we both drink tea daily and like a variety so I feel good with where we're at. All right this area makes a lot more sense. Just some probiotics. Cups, teas, more teas and sweeteners, overflow at the top, our coffee maker. This unfortunately won't fit on any of these tiers except for the top one and I can't reach that without a little booster so I'm just gonna set this here. I like this. I got it on Amazon. I think it's actually really pretty, but I haven't used it in months and months and months since we got an electric water heater. I have no use for this. So this is sadly a donate, even though it's so pretty. I have a lot of stuff in this area that really only comes out for the holidays. My bunt cake pan, pie pan, appetizer, like veggie and fruit tray right there. I have my charcuterie board that I really like. I'm keeping it in the packaging so that it stays nice and all put together. Otherwise the pieces would get lost. Yeah, this is my holiday hosting area. That can all stay. This can be donate. All my cookbooks, more, oh, deviled egg tray and serving tray here. I need those. I have spares, just backups, straws, plastic wrap. All that stuff can go here. You know, I'm covering it up. I feel like I can get rid of some of these cookbooks. I can get rid of all these cookbooks actually, because really I just look up recipes online. I never actually use a book for cooking. It's all online recipes. What do we have down here? More cleaning stuff that goes in my cleaning supply closet. I have my Instant Pot back there. Our popcorn popper and rice cooker are here. This is goes upstairs, it's my kid's mouthwash. What is this? This is a spare. I have to get a straw replacement for this, but otherwise we have my Nutribullet here and all the pieces. This I've never actually used because we have this knife sharpener that actually has worked out great for us. So I don't know, there's still a tag on it. Maybe I could figure out someone to give it to for Christmas. I feel like this is a really random gift to give someone a knife sharpener, but we already have a knife sharpener that works just fine. I don't know, little brother, you might be getting a knife sharpener for Christmas. Next, we have our very cluttered medicine and vitamin cabinet. It has at least some order because of the bins that I labeled with my Cricut machine. But overall, I know there's a lot of stuff I need to get rid of. There's probably more stuff that have expired. And then I just need to organize the overflow at the top so that we know what we have and we don't buy too much extras. this liquid chlorophyll I don't really know how I like it it's more like a liquid diarrhea supplement is kind of what it seems like more maybe I'll try it for a little bit longer but I don't know I don't know about this liquid chlorophyll hype that was all over TikTok these calm gummies I'm gonna put up kind of towards the kids stuff because I've been giving them these calm gummies when they need to basically like chill the f 
out. <laughs>